Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Note, this question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. Some question sets might have more than one correct solution, while others might not have a correct solution. After you answer a question in this section, you will not be able to return to it. As a result, these questions will not appear in the review screen. You have a fabric event stream that loads data into a table named bike location in a KQL database. The table contains the following columns, bike point ID, street, neighborhood, number of bikes, number of empty docks, timestamp. You need to apply transformation and filter logic to prepare the data for consumption. The solution must return data for a neighborhood named Sands End when number of bikes is at least 15. The results must be ordered by number of bikes in ascending order. Solution. You use the following code segment. Does this meet the goal? A. Yes B. No pause and go through the code carefully before selecting an answer. At first glance, the query might look correct. The filters are applied, the columns are selected, and everything seems in place. But here's the catch. The code doesn't meet the goal. Why not? In KQL, when you use sort, by without explicitly stating the order, it defaults to descending order, not ascending. Since the question specifically asked for the data to be sorted in ascending order by number of bikes, and that wasn't mentioned in the query, it fails to meet the requirement. Next question. Here is the solution. Go through the code carefully again and check the answer. The correct answer is no, it does not meet the goal. Just like the sort, the order by clause in KQL by default is in descending order. Let's go to the next question. Does this code meet the goal? The answer is yes, and here's why. This time the query includes ASC in the sort by clause, which means the data will be sorted in ascending order, just as the question requires. Now the last question in this series. Let's take a closer look. Well, the query itself is logically correct. The filters are accurate, the sorting is done right, and it looks like it would return the expected result. But there's a hidden catch. In this case, the query is written using TSQL syntax, but the database is running against is a KQL database. In Microsoft Fabric, when you're using TSQL against a KQL database, there's one small but important requirement. You must begin the query with an empty TSQL comment line, just two hyphens on its own line. This line tells the query engine, hey, interpret this as TSQL, not KQL. Since the provided solution does not include that, at the top, the system will try to interpret the query as KQL, and it will fail, even though the logic of the query is correct. So, despite being well written, the query does not meet the goal because it won't execute successfully in the given context. Pay close attention not just to the logic of the query, but also to the context and syntax based on whether it's TSQL or KQL. In the exam, you can't go back to change the answers for these type of questions, so make sure the solution fits both the technical requirement and the environment. See you with another question.